you got the name Fat Joe because obviously you probably was a chubby kid. Big. You ain't you ain't really fat no more, Joe. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm trying to live, man. It's right. it's it's a cold world. Mm -hmm. And so uh I'm trying to live. Uh I taught myself how to eat better. Um I used to exercise more than I do now, you know, with cause I, I you know I was like 480 pounds. What? 480, bro. Big boy. And Big Pump was 600. Joe, but yeah. I can see if you Well, I look smaller because I'm next to Big Pun. Yeah, but I'm saying, though, Joe, <laughs> if you were 6'4", 6'5". You know, six, the five, Big Mac, the Big Mac looks smaller next to the uh, double single. whopper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Big Mac looks smaller next to the double whopper. But, Joe, I can see if you're like 6'5", 6'6", 6'7", but 480 on somebody, your frame, Joe. Shannon, let me tell you something. We used to go to the All You Can Eat. Like, we almost went to jail at an All You Can Eat. We ate too much out of all you can eat. I swear <laughs> to God, this is a fact. They try, they brought the cops in. Homeboy came with the boots up to here, looked like Goma Pie. I was like, yo, I said, yo, what's the matter? He was like, come on, bro. You ate all the crab, all the shit. Like, you got to stop. <laughs> I, I said, yo, you know what? You right, because we go in there and kill them. And I don't get high, so right. all my guys are high. Right. So they got the munchies. They destroying the sizzler. It's over for Koru. Uh, what the shit they cut? Go to Corral. Go to Corral. It's over. Like, <laughs> over. We killing that shit. Now I eat defensively. Now I stay away from the carbs, the bread, yeah. the pasta, the thing. Like, everything I eat is defensive. I eat defensively. You know, trying to stick around. You wore a Halloween costume where you had a Ozempic. I was Ozempic. Yeah. I'm on Ozempic. I'm diabetic, okay. so I take over. Well, that way you have a reason. You yeah. didn't do it just to lose weight. No, you did it to maintain no, a healthy medicine. life. That's yes. medicine. That's insulin. That's medicine. It's actually a medicine, Shannon. Yes, I know what it is. You yeah. know, everybody else took it to lose weight. It's a medicine. Yeah. You know, to regulate my blood sugar. Yes. So I take it for that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I was definitely Ozempic for Halloween. A proud Ozempian. Yeah. I was like this. You see me? I even had the needle on the top. Like, yo. How, how, long, how long have you been a diabetic, Joe? My whole life since I've been like 13. Really? Yeah, I was a diabetic since I was like 13. When did you decide to, you know what, man? I might not make it to 20. I might not make it to 25. I might not make it to 30. I, I got to get my life. But the problem was that in the hood, they never even told me that if you lose weight, the diabetes could go away. Yes. So at one point, after Pun died, I was working out two to three times. I was doing two a days, three a days. Mm -hmm. Insane working, working out. Shout out my man, the Mind Muscle Connection. And so we working, picking up the tires, all the shit yeah. you doing. <laughs> the crazy shit, this, this, that. And then one day I walked into the hospital and my, I went to see my doctor. He was like, yo, you ain't got to take insulin no more. I said, what? He was like, nah, you ain't got diabetes no more. You, you, you good to go. You good to go. I, I walked out of there so strange. I've been using insulin so long that when I walked out of there, I was like, yo, I got to take my And he was like, nah, bro. You've been working out. You've been eating right. You've been doing the right thing. You ain't got to take that no more. And then eventually, maybe like 10 years later, he was like, all right, now you got to take a little old Zempic. You know, you ain't working out two, three times right. a day. So you got to, you know, regulate your sugars. Mm -hmm. Joe, you've been married almost 30 years. Mm. I remember that ass still fat though. Ah! That, yeah, yeah, Shannon. That ass still fat though, boy. Let me tell you something, man. God damn. You know when you told the story, you told the story, <laughs> Fat Joe, uh, that when you went away for the tax evasion, yeah. she held it down. She and you a, said whatever she whatever mama want. But it always been like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when I met her. She was too beautiful to even be with Fat Fat Joe. And all her friends made fun of her. Mm. You know, and was like, what you doing with that boy? You know, because I ain't had no money. When, mm -hmm. I, when, when I met her, I had just broke up with my son's mother. She took everything. I had an apartment, but she took the pictures of the dog, uh, of like every bed, mm -hmm. every couch. So when I met my wife, she walked in, it was just a mattress on the floor. Mm. Literally. The window ain't had no no curtain. It was a, like a 10X uh, robe yeah. I had, and I stapled the shit up on the window <laughs> to get no shade. And so she walked in, 
And when she walked in, she said, you live here? I said, man, it's a long story. I said, they used to have a leather sofa there. Yeah. They had a big TV over here. The sound system was so nice if you'd have heard it over there. <laughs> I mean, they took it all. Right. Right? And they left me a mattress. And she took a chance with me. Mike Tyson, you and Mike Tyson was going to beat up somebody. Well, that's an illa story. Um, you know, Big Pun was crazy. Rest in peace. Like, he was like a wild boy. So we did a show. We had 50 guys with us. He tells me, yo, send them all home. Let's go to the tunnel, just me and you. Now, the tunnel was a club in New York where you, you couldn't be in there if you wasn't dangerous. Right. This was... Two bullet minimum, huh? Yeah, yeah, okay. two bullet minimum. And it was the wildest spot New York <laughs> had ever seen, right? Their bouncers make you look like a baby. <laughs> these guys would jump off the roof like these was Transformers, right? Right. Ninja Turtles. So we get there and they tell him, Pun, this is Pun at his prime. He's sold two million records. They tell him he got to take his boots off. Mm -mm. Now, I just told you Pun was like 580 pounds. Right. He couldn't really take his boots off like that. So he was like, nah. But in there, people used to sneak in knives exactly. and guns mm -hmm. and they shit. So they was like, nah, you got to take it off. So it's like 10 security. So Pun is arguing with this one dude. Then it turns to two dudes. Then it turns to three dudes. Then it turns to four dudes. And I'm arguing back with them too. Mm -hmm. So I'm with Pun like, <clears throat> so they say something. I'm like, fuck you. And Pun's saying, fuck your mother. Like, it's just nasty work. So I grab, because I'm always realistic. I grab Pun at one time and I say, yo, Pun, you know we getting our ass whooped in here. Like these motherfuckers was huge. He said, yo, we got straps in the car. I said, we ain't getting to the car, Pun. Like, <laughs> these guys is big motherfuckers, right? So Pun was like, fuck you, suck my... And he wanted it, right? So I'm like, all right, fuck him. We I know how to catch an ass whip. You know, <laughs> you got to give a guy credit for knowing how to take your ass whip. Right. You know, staying with your man and get your ass whipped. That's right. that's another level. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, to get your ass whipped with your man, that's that's honorable thing. Right. Right, so I'm like, okay, we getting fucked up, right? <laughs> so we just gonna talk all the shit we want. So now, out of the ten, it's like eight of them, right? And out of nowhere, you hear a voice We're like, "Yo, pun, yo, Joe, fuck these niggas." We turn around. It's Iron Mike Tyson. This is like two in the morning, with the fucking kufi on. He had a suit on, and he starts taking off his Gucci loafers. Fuck these niggas. We'll fuck them up, pun. This, this, that. Boom. Next thing you know, Mike Tyson, the main one that started, Mike Tyson starts chasing him around the car, trying to fuck him up barefoot. <laughs> and the security looks at me, Joe, Joe, stop him. Joe, stop him. They ain't want the man's with that. No, Mike Tyson might have came out of jail one week. Yeah. Like this was him fresh out of jail. Right out. Right out of Indiana with the Kofi Muslim right. Mike Tyson. Man, that shit was crazy. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before to something.